Hi guys, welcome to Financial Management. We are doing chapter of ratios. Every possible MCQ of costing, CA, inter and FM we are trying to be covering. All of them, all the questions are arranged in the playlist form on our YouTube channel. Uh, in case there is any issue, you can always like, you know, see those questions for a better explanation. In exams, of course, same MCQs will not be coming. There will be new MCQs that will be there. So we are in any case in a process of having the new MCQs for costing. We have already done that for FM. We are doing that process now. Request you all whenever I read the question, I give you all time. Try to comment in the section below. So let's do this. A company has a net profit margin of 5%. Okay. And total assets of 90 lakh rupees. Fine. And return on total assets will be 9%. Okay. Its asset turnover ratio would be, okay, bring me the four options first, please. 1.6 times, then 1.7 times, then 1.8 times, lastly, 1.9 times. Now, first of all, let's try to be thinking, what do you mean by asset turnover ratio? Okay, comment, use your calci. There are many ways to be solving this in case you get the correct answer. Okay, that is altogether fine. The way that you have done, I'll not be much interested. So comment at this time. Now, see, first of all, what do you mean by asset turnover ratio? Asset turnover ratio is sales upon average assets. What does this ratio tell you? See, your denominator is always an independent variable. Remember that assets are generated first and then the sales comes and not vice versa. You cannot sell till the time you produce. You cannot produce till the time you buy assets like machinery, land and building up and so on. Okay. So therefore, suppose this ratio is two times. What does this mean? For every rupee of the amount that you have invested in your assets, you're generating sales of two rupees. That is whatever I've tried to write over here. Objective of finding out this ratio to know how much sales is generated from each rupee of investment in the assets. These are also called as asset utilization ratios. Okay. If you use your assets in a better way, in an efficient way, one thing that will automatically happen is that you will try to in this case, uh, use your plant and machinery far better, produce far more, sell better, automatically sales will be rising. So therefore, sometimes people also try to be saying this is how good you are using your assets. Okay, let's come back to the question now. So therefore, first thing that was given return on assets was 9%. Now, what do you mean by return? Return means profits upon assets into 100. So therefore, if you look over here, return, of, uh, return on assets was 9%. That would have been calculated as profit upon assets into 100. So assets in this case was 90 lakhs. No, So 90 lakhs into 9% will be giving you all profit. So therefore, I guess profit should be 90 lakhs into 9%, 8 lakh 10,000 rupees. Okay, that is first. Second, second thing that was given to us in the question that was net profit ratio. That was 5%. How do you compute net profit ratio? It's net profit upon sales into 100. Net profit beta you calculated above 8 lakh 10,000 rupees. I want to be finding out sales. See, my ultimate aim is to be finding out asset turnover ratio. For that, you all require two things. No, which two things? One is sales, one is assets. Okay, so therefore, sales was not there in the question. So we are trying to find out sales now. So net profit ratio is profit upon sales into 100. Profit was 8 lakh 10,000. In case I divide profit by the profit ratio, that is 5%, I should be arriving at sales. So pick up your calcis, please. 8 lakh 10,000 divided by 5%. Should be giving you 162 lakhs. I think so. So therefore, sales will be 162 lakhs. That is 8 lakh 10,000 into 100 upon 5. Once this is done, I guess you all have total assets. You all have sales. Apply your for, uh, apply your formula as such. So asset turnover ratio will be sales upon total assets. So therefore, 162 lakhs upon 90 lakhs. So finally, this will be 1.8 times. So out of the four options, I guess C is going to be making maximum sense. Please circle C. Please circle C. That is the correct answer. I'll see you all next time. Bye.